there's this TikTok audio that used to be viral, and it says something like, you don't know you're in the good days until they're already gone, and to be honest, I find that kind of cringe, but that goes pretty well with my goal for this year, which was to film the smaller moments. So, here we have the good days of 2023. Let's see. Winters started pretty regularly for me, with many days booked up on the mountain. Most of these being at Mount Spokane where I worked, but I was still able to get over to Schweitzer and ski with friends from time to time. And although this was a huge winter of skiing, the biggest thing that happened was a school trip to Scandinavia, which gave me a slight intro to European travel. It's like two hours. Spring opened up with plenty of mountain biking oh, and a spontaneous trip to Hawaii. Wow. Once back in Washington, I spent the last of my high school weekends outside with friends. Cars we went to the lake, camped basically in my backyard, and played a ton of spike ball. No Seeing new trip came around, ending off spring with some climbing at Smith Rock and memories made in summer. Uh, climbing was pretty good. Didn't play at all though. Oh. Huh? Jumping the sewer water? <laughs> Even though summer was filled with plenty of painting houses, pouring concrete, and serving people at Tito's, I still packed my little free time with a ton of fun. Yeah, Carson and I went on a bike slash surf trip to the Oregon coast and had just about everything go wrong. <laughs> Off of a turtle, as usual. There's so many. What the heck? We got out here. Finally, all of a sudden the harsh light of warmth just came through and that was really hot. Motor. Um, it's on the side. Basically, in the road at this point. I explored the Alpine Lakes wilderness on a couple of other trips, which included Blue Lakes and Ethan and I getting But not like the embarrassing lost way, but like the. Oops. We just took a different route on purpose, yeah. but also kind of like an accident. But it's okay. Why the heat? <laughs> Fall opened up with a drive down to Walla Walla, where I began college. Even though I was technically attending the school, I think I spent most of my time away. I biked even more, went camping with old friends, and went on a bucket list backpacking trip with new friends. Shout out to Mr. Luke Palau. When temps dropped, all I could think about was skiing, and I convinced the previously stated new friends who had a shared love for snow to buy icon passes with me. We then did we go for the mountains to open and drove down to Mount Hood just to click Summer in some Somewhere on two, we set up a tent, went straight to bed, got a, a miserable couple hours of sleep. That was kind of steezy. The following weeks were filled with anticipation <laughs> and small touring trips until finally the mountains started opening. That's when the trip I just got back from comes in. A group of us set off for Canada and searched for better snow. Although we didn't find much, it was still a blast right. playing hockey, exploring Bam, and getting some early season skiing. We are at Lake Louise, gentlemen. Let's go. 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 Let's